Hey guys, what is going on? Inception here and welcome to another video. Before we get into the video, I want to, be, I want to just say a big thank you to you guys in general for the support that you guys have shown in regards to the whole gameplay situation in FIFA. As you guys know, it's not based off of results, it's based off of general experience. It has been for the last seven years. I make those videos because honestly, it's unacceptable what EA feeds us every single year, right? Let me tell you guys something right now, okay? I genuinely, genuinely believe that what I'm saying on Twitter is an absolute joke, but it's also not surprising. As some of you guys know, I don't really follow anybody on Twitter, right? I'll show you guys who I follow on Twitter, right? A bunch of Toronto stuff, because I live in Toronto. Alfonso Davies, you know, Canadian legend already, to be honest. Cristiano Ronaldo and Quaresma. Quaresma is obviously the first. You guys know I love Quaresma, right? I did that. I used to follow a lot of people, right? But I did that because, honestly, for me, mentally, it wasn't good for me to read some of the stuff I was reading from certain people, right? It wasn't a large majority. It was, like, honestly, like, a, a I would say, like, a 25%, right? But... My solution to getting rid of all of that or that specific thing when I was reading it was to get rid of it entirely, right? Some people took offense to it when I unfollowed people on Twitter, which I honestly don't give a shit about because at the end of the day, guys, you have to look at after your own mentality and whatever, right? Um, I had to do it because it was just better for me. And to be honest with you, I've, I, it's been done for the last three or four months. That's when, I, that's when I did it. And I even had some content creators message me saying like, yo, I just noticed you unfollowed everybody. Like, what's up, right? And I told them specifically, like, um, I just don't like Twitter that much. And I just had to unfollow everybody so that when I hop on Twitter, it's not the first thing that I see all the time, right? So it was just a better decision for myself. And again, it's not because I hate a large majority of the community. I don't. It's just that I would rather not see it, right? Because as you guys know, I don't like I don't like drama in general. When I make my posts about the gameplay oriented stuff in, yeah, from FIFA, I do that because I care about playing a game that is playable. Because you have like I just played a draft right now, and the gameplay was playable, and I I, I was having fun except for the park the bus literally using one player to defend meta hopefully that's adjusted but in general the general movement was fun so i can actually move and blah blah it wasn't slow it wasn't heavy um and it was it was fun that's what i fight for every single year right because ea has it but they just never fix it to have it all the time um but drama in general you know the content creator versus content creator or this versus that i don't like doing because i don't like drama i hate it okay when people when something happens in the community and people come to my stream and they talk about a specific issue, I genuinely hate it so much if it doesn't need to be publicized. That being said, this specific thing is not something that you could have gone to the DMs and been like, yo, because that's, that's how I approach most situations, right? I go to the DMs and be like, yo, I'm going to call you out on this because I think it's really stupid and I think you should change your ways in regards to this. That's the way that you deal with the situation, right? And to be honest... Sometimes the other person will just be like, you know what? I think you're right. I see where you're going with this. We're going to delete this. We're not going to do this anymore, right? For certain things. For this, you don't, this is not a requirement to get a DM from anybody that you should or shouldn't be doing this, okay? This specific thing is the whole thread post that Nick's been posting, right? Run the foot market, Nick. I'll show you guys what's happening. I need to say that all in the beginning so that you guys understand where I'm coming from because it's it's so hard to say everything in a video and you know be able to tell you guys every single little bit of a detail right okay let's see Nick's tweets over here Nick was 28 and 1 1 nil up in the 90th minute and he got disconnected from the EA servers now I'm not I cannot say that his opponent specifically did this it's just that it's convenient, right, that it happened in the 90th minute. His stream was fine, but he somehow got disconnected from the EA server specifically. Whether that it is, that's his opponent, whether that's EA disconnecting him in general, the fact that this right here exists when his stream is perfectly fine, he is specifically disconnecting from the servers from EA in a clutch game to get, he gets top 100 because 29 is based off of skill rating at that point, right? Which he'll probably get because he did the games earlier. Now he can't get it, he can't get top 100. And I'll be honest with you guys, if you guys watch this video, the way that this kid reacted, look at him. Good. Beautiful, man. I would not, I would not be like that. 
there's there is no way in hell I would have been calm in that situation. But at the same time, and that's something that I'm learning myself, right? But at the same time, the way that he handled the situation by not getting super angry deserves an applause by itself, okay? Let's check out the other posts that he's been posting. He's been saying absolutely pathetic. These are some of the guys, right, in this Discord who are specifically trying to stream snipe him so that he can't get top 100, okay? I know some of these guys, right? I know some of these guys, and that's why I had to make this video because this video in particular, okay, needs to be said for all future intensive purposes because this is only one Discord that we know about. This could have been a thing that's been happening in general over the course of the years or whatever it is or however long it's been happening. This should never have entered anybody's mind to do, right? What this is, guys, is that this is a Discord from competitive or pro players to specifically avoid each other while playing and to stream snipe people, right? I'm not gonna name names, but I know some of these people in this in this Discord. One person in particular, I'm very disappointed in because honestly, I seen him as one of the dudes that like I've known for a while and I was like cool with, you know what I'm saying? Like I wouldn't necessarily say friend because I don't have friends. I know people that I know of. That's what I would say, right? Um, friends are real life, you know, blah, blah. Nick, I would consider a friend. I talk to him all the time, right? But, and that's, I feel like that's probably another reason why I'm even making this post. But this right here is genuinely unacceptable, okay? This should never have entered your mind to ever do, right? Some of these guys are going to get a huge, huge backlash. And I don't like, I don't like the whole cancel culture. Now we're all going to attack him at once. I hate that. But this specific thing you had coming for you, okay? You had coming for you. I've done a very questionable thing in the past, specifically this one thing. But then when people were calling me out on my bullshit, I was like, I didn't intend it to be a certain way, right? But when I saw it that way, I was like, oh shit, you know what? They kind of make a good point. And literally within like 10 minutes, I took it off instantly. Because I was. it wasn't like a thing where it's like, oh, I can get away with it. I just didn't see it in a certain point of view. Again, the situation could have been dealt differently because if I got a DM, I'm a very open, I'm an open-minded person when it comes to this stuff. DM me, tell me what you think the problem is. I'll be like, oh, you know what? I actually see that point of view. I'll take it down, right? But this specific thing should never have entered anybody's mind. I'm not going to say I'm any better, right? I'm not, no one's perfect. No one's perfect. But this specific thing, some of these guys are part of the community, you know that in gaming, in streaming, in YouTube, in anything, that stream sniping is absolutely frowned upon. And the fact that you are specifically avoiding playing pro players makes it unfair. Do you know what video games should be about? We should all play the game collectively like we're normal people, okay? If I'm a streamer, if Nick's a streamer, if, if the other Nick's a streamer, if Nep's a streamer, why are you stream sniping? Why don't you just play the game like you would play the game in general, right? You search for a match like you normally go, oh, maybe I'll find a pro, maybe I won't, right? Why don't you just play the game that way like it was intended in general? I'm making this post because I know some of these guys. I know some of them that have stream sniped me specifically have come to the stream and be like, I, I actually, uh, Inception, like, I, I didn't stream snipe you. Like, it's not a coincidence, okay? It's not a coincidence that, like, you know, I turn on my face cam, no one knows what I'm doing. The moment that I play into a game, it just happens, right? This is unacceptable behavior. The backlash some people are going to get, they can redeem themselves. Everyone can redeem themselves. There, it's going to be a solid week, week and a half, two weeks, that it's going to be bad. But everyone can redeem themselves. I, I personally believe in that, right? But I, I, I don't like the mentality right now that it seems like people are apologizing because specifically they got caught. I don't like that, okay? I personally do not like that. Um, let's continue on with the post here, though. This is unacceptable, right? So you can see over here, um, yeah, yes, Agit said he's going to snipe him, blah, blah, blah. And then Nick said that he's going to do a post in the future. I wanted to specifically talk about this thing because... This is not something that you could have DM someone about. This needs to be publicized 
so that people know what's going on so that they it should it shouldn't have entered the brain in the in general but it, it would enter their mind that in the future this should never happen again it's genuinely unacceptable i'm not going to say i'm disappointed because i'm genuinely not surprised this is why I unfollowed everybody on Twitter and stick to whatever it is that I'm doing and have my own train of thought when it comes to certain things. And then you guys can agree or disagree on whatever. Right. Um, I mean, I even had a thing in the past, right, where people thought that I was deleting my YouTube comment section, which I wasn't. I just had words that were set up in um, I had words that were set up in YouTube like bitch uh, fuck and stuff like that. Like, obviously, I did it in the video. But the reason why I did that is because YouTube you know, they have like guidelines where it's like, oh, if your YouTube comment section gets too toxic, then we'll just delete it. But you know, I was just like, okay, you know what I'm going to do? I'm just going to say, fuck it. I'm going to take all these words out. People can say whatever they want to say. If they agree, disagree. I don't care about that. It's just that I didn't want my comment section to be disabled. And to be honest, it didn't get disabled. So it was actually the right decision that people were saying that I, that I was doing it, even though I wasn't, uh, so that it could be disabled in general. But, um, yeah, specifically, I wasn't deleting comments. It was just timing people out for using specific words. And then I realized that some words weren't even bad and they, was, they were being timed out in general. And I was like, what the hell? So I just took all the words out. I'm just like, say whatever you want to say, right? Um, but yeah, I'm not, I'm not surprised. I'm really, really not surprised. This, this was going on last year too. I, we remember, you guys remember, that there was the Discord where people were, were strictly avoiding each other. People were going strictly for home games to avoid each other. Um, I'm not disappointed, okay? I this is you already knew about it. That's pretty much all I want to say, guys. Um, hopefully, I never see something like this again in the future because honestly, it's absolutely ridiculous. And uh, yeah, I'm I'm curious to see what Nick Stamen is going to be in the future, man. But uh, thank you guys so much for watching the video. I'll catch you guys for the video tomorrow, whatever that may be. And uh, yeah, I'll see you guys later. Peace out, dudes. Love you guys.